trash. That's all you can call it, trash. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the Zygu G90 original power connector to power pole. Uh, so this is a post install video, but I'll show you the steps that I did to walk through uh, an installation of these guys versus this piece of garbage. Uh, so the reason why I changed mine out is because these originally had tabs to keep it from getting pushed into the unit itself. So right here, you can see the optional fan tray for the Zygu G90, and it's got the tabs. This one doesn't. So this one was threatening to fall into the radio anytime I tried to unplug it and plug it back in. So we might need to get rid of that for sure. Uh, then I also did the adapter modification over here for the fan tray so that I could plug it in over here. So we are going to go step by step how I did this, and let's begin. On my table here, I have all the tools of the equipment you're going to need to do this modification. Starting from left to right, you're going to have your power pole crimper, your wire stripper, power poles, the little crimps that go inside the power poles. We have a flathead, very small screwdriver, two millimeter Allen key, larger Phillips head, smaller Phillips head screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a place to put all your screws, a exacto knife, utility knife, some type of cutting utility. Going to need some type of wire, not the specific type of wire you don't need, but you'll need something uh, later on. And you're going to need files in order to make that hole a lot a bit bigger in the back. And you're going to need some masking tape, which does the magic, uh, as well as some place to cut the masking tape. First thing you're going to want to do is take the top off of the G90. In order to do that, you need to get a two millimeter Allen key that I was able to find out of my metric set here. So two millimeters is what you're going to want to use. And in order to take off the top, you're going to need to take off one, two, three screws on this side, and then three screws on the other side. And these two screws can stay because they're part of the speaker. The other screws that you got to take off, two in the front here, and then two on the other side. You don't need to take off any of the Phillips head screws that are attached to the face unit. And I don't think you need to take these off, but I took them off anyway just to get easier access to the back panel when I started filing. So those are the screws you got to take off. Next step here, we have all of the screws out of the G90. You'll notice that I put them all in a pot for safekeeping. And the screws for these back rails were actually smaller than the other ones, so I have them separated. In order to move on to the next step, we need to take the face off. I can't hold the camera and take the face off at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle this front unit until it pops off. You just pull it straight forward, and we'll see that in the next step. All right, fairly simple and straightforward. We now have the head unit detached from the base unit. And what we're going to need to do next is take those Phillip head screws out of the front so that we can slide the top piece off. With all screws in the pot now, we're at the point where we can start taking the top of the G90 off. Face plate has been removed. For the base unit, we had to use a small screwdriver for that. And now this moves no problem. When we take this off, there's one piece that's connected. It's a speaker. So make sure you remember or watch this video back because the red is going to go to the right as you're looking at the face of the radio. You're going to make sure that you put that back correctly. So I'm going to take that out, just pop it out, and take the top off. So here we are now with the top off. And... You're going to need to remove next these four Phillips head screws. You're going to need a bigger Phillips head screwdriver than what you used in the last step because those screws are a bit bigger. You're also going to need to pop this ribbon out. So in order to do that, you just lift this tab and the ribbon just comes right back out. Then there's also two cables here for transmit and receive. You want to be real careful when you're taking these two out. So it's here and 
here. What I do is I put a flathead small screwdriver underneath the back piece here and slowly lift it out. You don't want to be forceful here. Uh, you want to be careful because if the piece below pops out, uh, the piece that's connected to the circuit board, going to have a bad day. Uh, you, you, you don't want to screw that up. So these two, be very careful popping those out. You do need to take those out though. Uh, again, ribbon, it's easy. You just take the brown piece, pop it up, uh, and also take out these four screws so we can remove the circuit board to get underneath it. Here we are with the top circuit board removed. So now we can finally get to the original power adapter and get that thing out of there. Again, I'm not showing it here because I already did the modification, but you have a couple things going. When this is taken out and you have these cables as well, uh, just kind of flopping around, you're not gonna want that when you're filing. So we're going to tape those down. I use masking tape for that. Masking tape is the magic that makes this project work. So I'll show that in the next step. At this point, we have all three cables masking tape down to the board there so that they don't move so that we can move on to the filing of that back hole to make it bigger for the power pole adapters. So like I said previously, masking tape is really the magic that makes this project work. What I did is I took a piece of masking tape and I put it on some post-it notes so that I could cut it out. And I put a couple of power pole adapters onto the masking tape and traced around it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut that piece out so then I now have a template for filing the back of the G90. I now have a template that I can use to file out the back of the G90. I marked bottom here so that I know what part is the bottom and this hole here I'm gonna to use to make the hole in the back of the G90 bigger. To make things a little bit more clear, I put a silver mark at the bottom of the masking tape. So you take that masking tape and you'll line it up as close as you can with the bottom of that power hole so that you can only file in couple directions versus having to file that bottom piece because you already have a straight line. I had to do a little bit of filing on the bottom there, but what you want to do is Put the masking tape here and constantly check as you're filing to see if the hole is big enough. But this will give you an approximate idea on how big you need to file that hole. So you can see that the masking tape here, I've cut a little bit bigger than the hole that I needed, but it'll at least let you know when you're getting in the ballpark. So constantly check as you're filing to make sure that that hole is the right size for the power pole adapters. One thing you'll notice is that if you file in this orientation, there's a lot of electronics there that you're gonna get metal shavings on. What you wanna do is flip this guy over. Uh, gravity can be your friend in that way there instead of the metal filings falling into the radio, they'll fall away from the radio, go straight up. At this point, I have the radio flipped over and it's time to file. I used some small metal files to file that hole out so that it's bigger for the power pole adapter. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is be very patient here because this is the part that takes the longest. You're gonna keep filing till you get kinda of close or what you think is close to that masking tape and then check every so often to make sure that the power poles aren't sliding all the way through. Uh, you wanna make sure that the fit is nice and tight. As you're getting close to the markings on the masking tape, you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that the power poles are able to come through the back, but not so much that they push out. So be very patient and check constantly to make sure that you haven't taken off too much of the back. And where you wanna to get to is so that the front is able to go through up to that hole and then there's some raised pieces on the power pole that keep them from going all the way out the back. So keep checking, make sure that you're able to get these through, but not so much that they push out of the back of the unit such that this hole is coming out the back, but these pieces that are raised on the power pole don't allow it to push all the way through. 
We are now at the point in the mod where the power poles are through the back. The filing has been accomplished. You can see that that hole in between the power poles is showing and that it's not able to push through the front, or I should say the back of the G90. To punch down the power poles is just like any other power pole punch down. You can YouTube find that out. But what you got to do is clip off the existing power connection, punch down the power poles, and then push them into the back of the unit here. That post there is going to give you a little bit of trouble. So what you got to do is just kind of bring it in an angle so that it comes into the back here. You're probably at this point thinking, why is he making such a big deal about that hole? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wire and we're going to shove it down that hole and bend it so that when you're plugging the power pole into your battery or your power supply, it doesn't actually slide back into the unit. What I've used for this is what I had in the garage, which is this 18 gauge seal galvanized wire. I had a whole bunch of it left over from a project. But really, you should be able to find any stiff wire, maybe some copper wire that you have for other projects that you can shove into that hole. What I did is made a very small piece, have a bend at the top so I could slide it in, and then use a pair of needle nose pliers to bend the rest so that there's kind of an S shape so that that wire won't come out. And the power pole won't come out the back of the unit. The power pole won't go into the unit when you're plugging it in. Everything will stay nice and tight in there. So that is what it looks like with that wire in with the S shape and it's very secure. You're not going to be able to push that into the radio. Uh, and now at this point, we put everything back together. Here we are with the circuit board back on. What you're going to want to do to put the radio back together is basically reverse order what we did to take the cables off. Uh, if you don't remember, Transmit is going to show you at the very bottom that it comes from the front. Uh, so transmit goes to transmit TX TX. And then on the other side, I have this piece of tape that came along with the radio that's going to go to the receive RX side. So make sure you put those all back together as well as slide this ribbon back under the clip there and then press the clip back down to put it all back together. And here she is all put back together again, and we have power pole connectors in there the way they should have been to begin with. When you're opening this bad boy up, you see that warranty sticker there. Don't worry about cutting it, because guess what? They're going to know you did something, because she looks so much better. And if you do have the fan tray adapter to keep your Zygu G90 cool, just know that if you make that a power pole connector at the very end, it's not long enough, so I made this adapter to make it a little bit longer to reach. I'll show the last video in its final form, and then we'll be done. Now all put together, we have the G90 with the power pole connector in the very back, the way that it should be. As you can see, I have the pigtail connected because the fan tray cooler just didn't reach. So I need to make it a little bit longer in order to reach. With the battery connected to the fan tray, fan tray connected to the back of the G90 via power pole connector the way it should be. And just to show you that everything's up and running, we got the waterfall and going into a dummy load, we're going to test this. This is NU1U testing, one, two, three. And there you have it. We have the power pole adapter modification for the Zygu G90. Trash. That's all you can call it, trash.